Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Iranian Mathematical Olympiad, second round 1999, problem number 4. We wish to find all functions f from the set of real numbers into itself, such that f of f of x plus y equals f of x squared minus y plus 4y f of x, for all real numbers x and y. It's a nice problem, uh, here, is my, here are my hints. First, try setting y to be x squared and then try setting y to be minus f of x to find a polynomial equation for f of x. From that you should be able to show that our function must be even and that f of 0 is 0. And finally, to eliminate most of the possibilities, suppose that if our function has some non-zero zero, so, in other words, for some non-zero x sub 0, f of x 0 is 0, then our function must be constantly 0. So, in other words, supposing that f of y 0 is not 0, for some non-zero y 0 leads to a contradiction of some sort. So, give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so... Uh, let's maybe start with marking our equation by asterisk. So let's start with setting y to be x squared. Then, then what do we have? On the left hand side we have f of f of x plus x squared equals f of x squared minus x squared is f of 0 plus 4 y is x squared f of x let's remember that and now let's try setting y to be minus f of x because then we have the following this time we have f of 0 on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have x squared plus f of x plus or minus, rather, minus 4 f of x squared. So we have these two equations. I will mark them double asterisk and triple asterisk. Let's, let's do what exactly? Let's add them together. Adding uh, double asterisk and triple asterisk. We have the following. Notice that on the left hand side we have f of 0 plus f of f of x plus x squared equals, well, f of 0 plus f of x squared plus f of x plus 4x squared f of x. I'm running out of space. Uh, minus 4 f of x squared. And now let's notice some things. This and that is gone. This and that is gone as well. So we have 0, we can divide by 4, and we have, we can factor out f of x as well. And we have f, 0 equals f of x, x squared minus f of x which is very good news, because that means, let me be very clear, that f of x is 0, or f of x is x squared, for every real number x. Yes, for every real number x, either one of these possibilities is true. I'm not saying at this point that our function is constantly 0, or, or is just a quadratic function. I'm not saying that. I will show that it is the case, but we need to do some work. Now, suppose, suppose now, suppose now that maybe b before supposing, uh, let's, let's see some things. Notice that if I set x to be 0, in either case, we can deduce that f of 0 must be 0. So maybe let's mark this condition uh, square. 
So uh, by our condition square, uh, f of 0 must be obviously 0, because it's either 0 or 0 squared, which is also 0. Moreover, let's set, let's set x to be 0 in our very first uh, equation, which I marked asterisk. Very first. This one. If I set x to be 0, this is 0, so we have f of y, here we have 0, so equals f of minus y, and this is 0 because f of 0 is 0. So we have f of y equals f of minus y. For every y. So in other words, our function is even. i.e. i.e. f is even. We'll use it. Now, the most interesting part, probably, Suppose now, suppose that uh, f of x0 is a 0 for some non-zero x0. We will show, it's what we want, we will show that in that case f of x must be equal 0 for every for every real number. How can we do it? Well, suppose to the contrary, suppose to the contrary, suppose to the contrary, that, well, that f of, for example, y0 is not 0 for some non-zero y0. I can assume that it's non-zero because f of zero is zero. What then? We have two subcases. Sub case number one. F of y zero is less than zero. Now I will set set uh, x to be x zero and y to be y zero in our very first functional equation in our very first functional equation what do we have then maybe rewrite it f of f of x0 plus y0 equals <coughs> f of x0 squared minus y plus 4y0 f of x0 it's, it is just my first very first functional equation with x0, y0. Now, let's take a look. Well, by our supposition that f of x0 is 0, this part is 0, this entire thing is 0 as well, so we have f of y0 equals f of x0 squared minus e0. Now, by our condition, crucial condition which I marked square, if our function is not zero for some x, it must be x squared. So by our condition square, since this is not zero, this, is mu this must be y squared. Now notice that this is not zero, so again by our condition square, uh, y0 squared, the right, the right hand side cannot be 0, so it must be x0 squared minus y0 quantity squared. And let's expand it. After simplification, we will get x0 to the fourth power minus 2y0 x0 squared. And now we have a problem. Why? Because remember that x0, x0 is not 0. So this is greater than 0, this as well. And remember that we are in our first case where y0 is, not, is less than 0. So this part with minus is also greater than 0. So it cannot happen. So we have a contradiction. 
contradiction. Our second case, case number two, case number two, y0 is greater than zero. What then? Well, then we'll set x to be x0, but y to be minus y0. What now? Uh, we have, now we have f of f of x0 minus y0 equals f of x0 squared plus y0 uh, minus 4y0 f of x0. Now what happens? Well, again, this is 0, this is 0, so we have f of minus y0 equals f of x0 squared plus y0, but crucially we have established that our function is even. Our function is even. f is even. So instead of f of minus y0, I can just write f of y0 equals f of x0 squared plus y0. And now, what is f of y0? Well, it's not 0, so it must be y0 squared. Again, this is not 0, so on the right hand side we have square as well. After simplifications, we will get x0 to the fourth power plus 2y0 x0 squared. And now we have another problem because why? Because this is greater than zero, this is greater than zero, and we are in our second case, y0 is also greater than zero. Contradiction, contradiction. Which means that it cannot be that our function has some argument for which it's not, for which it is zero, of this argument being not zero, uh, and it can be at the same time that, that our function is not constantly zero. So now we know, now we know that either that either f of x is zero for every x, or f of x 0, f of x is not 0 for every, for every non-zero x. It's pretty much equivalent to what I said, but it's clearer this way. So, but now, notice that in our, so it's our first case, this is our second case. So if f of x is not 0, then it must be x squared. So we have only two functions. So either, either f of x equals zero for every x, for every real x, or f of x equals x squared for every, for every real x. For every non-zero x, but in either case f of zero is zero. So we have now, we have to verify only two functions, not infinitely many functions, but only two. Function which is constantly zero and which is x squared. So it's verification time. Well, f of x equals zero obviously satisfies our equation. Let's go back. Why? Because here we have f of zero, zero, zero. So no problem there. So it's good, let's say, good. And now let's suppose that f of x equals x squared. Let's write on the left hand side, we have f of f of x plus y. So we have f of x squared plus y, x squared plus y squared, which is x to the fourth power, 2x squared y plus y squared 
And on the right hand side, we have f of x squared minus y plus 4y f of x. Let's expand it. x squared minus y squared plus 4y x squared x to the fourth minus 2x squared y plus y squared plus 4y x squared x to the fourth power plus 2x squared y plus y squared. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. So this function satisfies our equation as well. So the only solutions, the only solutions, either f of x is 0 for every x, or f of x is quadratic function for every real x. And that closes our problem. Our functional equation has only two solutions. So yes, it's a very nice equation from Iran. That's it. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.